Here is an electric field which is going in this direction. And I'm going to give you two points, let's say one and two. Let's have a positive test charge across here. My question to you is what happens to the electric potential energy of the positive charge as it moves from position one to position two. Electric field lines flow from positive to negative. So two positive charges will repel, meaning that the further this charge is from the positive one, the less capacity it has to pick up speed from repelling. Imagine if there was a plate across here, some sort of a negative plate. If I was to release this charge from here, it will arrive at that plate with a huge amount of speed. On the other hand, if I release this charge from here, it will, arri it will arrive at this plate with very little speed. So in this case, we can confidently say that in this situation, the electric potential energy decreases. We may have to think about this mathematically as well. The electric potential energy in this case between those two will be positive. So we can say that the energy, let's call it QQ over 4 pi epsilon naught R will be decreasing because as R increases, well, this positive quantity will be decreasing. Now let's turn the problem on its head and what if I gave you a negative charge over here? Well, everything will be exactly the opposite. So if I was to release this charge from here, it will strike, let's say, this positive plate with some energy. However, if I was to release it from here, it's going to have so much energy because it's going to be repelled from this plate. It's going to arrive over here with a ton of energy. Please note, ton is just an expression and not the SI unit for energy. <laughs> the electric potential energy for this electron will increase. Well, how can that be mathematically? Well, the electric potential energy is now a negative quantity. Let's say if these were individual charges, we can just use minus QQ over four pi epsilon naught R. So as R increases, well, this electric potential energy becomes less and less negative, meaning that it's actually increasing. Another really confusing topic is the addition of electric fields and the electric potential. And for this, you absolutely need to have a look at this video right over here.